we've touched down at Husky Liners and I'm with Dylan Hackman and Dylan Husky Liners has really become a household name you guys have been around forever doing some great stuff so what are you featuring here at SEMA? We're fe featuring a lot of new and great products um, you know we have our exact contour floor liners our kickback mud flaps and we also have our new ball mounts as well. Well let's start with the floor liners. Yes, ma'am. Um, the exact contour is kind of a little different liner than anything else on the market. It's made out of a little softer, more rubber material, which in turn makes it a little more flexible. Really convenient in some of the winter uh, months up north. It allows that liner to be more flexible getting in, in and out of the vehicle when the temperatures are 10 degrees and 20 degrees below zero. I noticed the fit on the floor liners looks really nice. Yes, ma'am. Um, just kind of due to the nature of the material, it really lays really flat. And we do have some of the best engineers in the world that really make sure we do a precise fit on the mold. And then there was a snap there I saw. Yes, ma'am. That's kind of our re retention post uh, device. Um, it's really nice because the factory retention post actually just clips into the liner and we don't have any holes in it so when you lift it out full of water it doesn't drain back down through the other holes in the liner. Very creative, very good. Let's talk about the mud flaps. Um, yes ma'am, the, the kickback style mud flaps kind of something a little bit different to the, the mud flap world. Um, it'll work with trucks with lift kits, oversized tires, and even like a bushwhacker style fender flare. I noticed that the style looked a little different also looked, I want to say, a little more heavy duty. Am I right? Yes, ma'am, you're correct. Um, the kickback's just kind of made out of a little beefier, uh, more rubber, more plastic material. It has a really nice anti-splash backing on it. Um, it does have a few different features than some of the other mud flaps on the market. Very interesting. Let's talk about some of those features. Um, one of the big features of the kickback is uh, the bracket the mud flap attaches to. It has a one and a half inch offset on it, which allows that mud flap to be pulled back behind the tire. It makes a really big difference on the, the front of the vehicle when you have lift kits and oversized tires. The mud flaps, is it coming just a standard size or is there different sizes? Um, there's a few different options on the kickback. We have a 12 inch wide version and a 14 inch wide version. Um, the 14 inch wide version is about two inches longer than the 12 inch wide. Um, we offer a few different coloring options on the kickback. We have a coated top, coated bottom um, application. We have a coated top, stainless bottom application. And we also have a stainless top and stainless bottom application. Um, the mud flaps that do have the coating on it does have the stainless steel underneath the coating. Lots of options. I love this. So regarding the ball mounts, I saw that you had some different options. Some look longer than others. Some look even maybe wider than others. Yes, ma'am. Um, we have an adjustable ball mount and also a fixed drop ball mount. Um, the adjustable ball mount will go 6, 8, 10, and 14 inches in depth. The fixed style ball mount will go 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18 inches in depth. And regarding the ball mounts, some are a lot deeper than others. So why does it matter? It matters because if you have a truck that's lifted up with a lift kit or you have a, just a taller truck in general, um, having a deeper ball mount really allows your trailer to sit flat and tow straight. Um, it's really nice, especially on our adjustable ball mounts because you may have two different style of trailers and then they may be different heights so you can adjust the height of your ball mount. So who is your main customer today? I think our main customer today for the ball mounts is the guys that have lifted trucks, but maybe those same guys like to go fishing or pull their pull their camper, pull their hay trailer. Maybe the guy that has a few, you know, cattle in his, you know, 10 acres on his property and he needs to take them to the vet or something. Let's talk about the material that the ball mounts are made out of. Um, our ball mounts are made out of steel. Um, that actually makes a ball mount weigh a whole lot heavier than some of the other ball mounts on the market, but that in turn allows us, our ball mounts, to have a higher tow rating. Um, for instance, on our six inch adjustable with a two inch shank, the tow rating on that is 1,400 uh, tongue weight and 14,000 gross trailer weight. Um, and then on the six inch adjustable with a two and a half inch shank option, um, the tongue weight on that is 1,700 pounds and then the gross trailer weight is 17,000. So that is substantially higher than some of the other ball mounts we offer, but it's nice so if your customer does have a heavier trailer and a lifted vehicle, he'll still be able to get that trailer around. So along with all the products, you also offer wheel well guards. So tell me what the purpose is and how they work and the applications. So kind of the, the cool thing with our wheel well guards, it's kind of like a, a liner for your rear wheel wells on your trucks. Um, application wise, it's mainly geared towards the GM trucks and the Ford trucks. Um, the reason you'd like to have a wheel well guard in your truck is it really protects that wheel well from rock chips. Um, you know, it allows you when you're driving up north, when you're driving in mud, it makes it a lot easier to clean and keep everything off your frame rail. Um, and also if you have a lifted truck, 
it really cleans that area up. It really darkens it out, makes it look sharp and crisp. Um, the wheel well guards do have a lifetime warranty, so whatever you do get into, you're not going to damage them. And for some reason, if you do damage them, we will replace them. And are they easy to install? Yes, ma'am. Uh, installation on our wheel well guards is pretty simple. You do not have to remove the rear tire. Um, and for instance, on the GM applications, if you your truck has a um, factory wheel well guard in there, ours is pretty simple to install. You just remove the, the OE wheel well guard, insert ours, and just put a few of the, the screws back in, and that's it. No, dr no drilling required. Nice. I love it. Well, thanks, Dylan. This has been fun. And you know, there's not a lot of things in life these days that are guaranteed, right? No, there sure isn't. But Husky Liners is guaranteed for life. Husky Liners is guaranteed for life. I love it. All right, you guys, check it out. Huskyliners.com.